So, you have a Flash movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I'm thinking maybe we tap into some multiverse territory on this one. Oh, that's supposed to be a big trend coming up. So if all goes well with this, we'll be one of the first movies. You know it, sir. This idea is still fresh because it's roughly 2014 as we're having this conversation. Oh, that is roughly the current year. So we'll be putting this out before the market gets oversaturated. Assuming there are no production delays or anything horrible happens. Hey, don't jinx it. I didn't jinx it. I was just saying. Well, hopefully nothing goes... Was that a jinx? Did I just curse this production? Uh, it could have been some unrelated supernatural thing. I gotta say, that felt pretty cursy. Yeah, it felt a little cursy, but maybe we'll be okay. Well, fingers crossed. So anyway, what happens in this bad boy? Well, we're gonna start the movie by trying to, you know, reestablish Barry as a heroic figure. Is that gonna be hard to do? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, I figured we'd just have him shovel a little baby in a microwave. What? He doesn't leave it in there for long. When the bell dings, he takes it out. The bell dings, so the microwave was on. Ah, it was falling from a building. What is going on? A bunch of babies are falling from a building. Flash saves them all, eats a burrito, puts one of them in a microwave. I just... All right, let's move past that. I don't understand. Well, okay then. Well, we're also going to show that Barry has this thing on his suit that tracks calories, you know, tells him when he's running out of energy. Oh, so he kind of loses his powers if he doesn't eat. Exactly. I bet that's going to come into play in a big way later. Ah, you know, now that I think of it, not much. Maybe a gag or two. Oh, tracking calories for a while, but then just kind of neglecting to do it is tight. <laughs> you okay? I'm trying to drop a bit of weight, but they keep coming out with new Oreo flavors. Oh my God. Those best. Anyway, so Flash is gonna help save the day, and we're gonna see Batman, and Wonder Woman's gonna pop out for a second, too. Oh, I like that. I think it'd be great if she started doing that constantly, eventually. Just popping out for a single scene, smiling and leaving? Yeah, I could see that being a career trajectory for her, for sure. So what else happens? Well, Barry's dad's gonna be falsely imprisoned for killing Barry's mom, right? Uh-oh. And so Barry realizes he can use the speed force to go back in time, so he goes and stops her from ever dying. Very cool. But then he actually gets knocked out of the speed force by another speedster and then he meets a younger more annoying version of himself more annoying oh my god yeah, and so barry realizes this is actually the day that he got his powers so he brings himself to get the powers but then loses his own okay and then they see the general zod is attacking a very coincidentally eventful day it sure was sir so barry wants to get the justice league together but they don't exist in this timeline why not because this is an alternate timeline where we only paid those actors to be in the beginning of the movie oh okay but it turns Turns out this timeline does have an older Batman. He's the one played by Michael Keaton. He's from the Michael Keaton Batman movies. He sure is, sir. The multiverse can be an excuse to bring back classic actors as a box office draw. Very smart. Although, hey, do you think the concept of multiverses might kind of diminish the stakes since there are infinite versions of every character? Hmm. No. Me neither. Okay, let's go all in. Great, so they're gonna ask Batman to help, but he's gonna say no. What? For two and a half minutes, then he says yes, we gotta manufacture a bit of tension here. Gotcha. So now they realize they need to find Superman to help defeat Zod, but when they get to where they think he is, it turns out to be Supergirl. Oh, that's a different character. Still super, though. Yeah, and so they're gonna ask Supergirl to help, but she's gonna say no. What? For two and a half minutes, then she's gonna say yes. Right, good tension building. Yeah, she goes to check out Zod, who, as it turns out, is looking for her in this universe. Universe, not Superman. Oh, okay. And so she's like, oh, and she flies back to the good guys and helps our Barry get his powers back. Zod doesn't follow her. You said she's the one he's looking for. No, he doesn't because it's not time for the final fight yet. That makes sense. So then it is time for the final fight. So they head over there, but Batman and Supergirl keep dying. Oh, dang it. So the Flashes keep going back in time to try to save them, but no matter what they do, Batman and Supergirl die. Wow. So younger Flash kind of goes nuts and keeps trying and trying and the multiverse starts to collapse onto itself. Oh. And maybe this is too expensive and complicated, but I thought this could be a chance to showcase some alternate superheroes, you know, like George Reeve, Christopher Reeve, Nicolas Cage, Adam West, Helen Slater. Of course that's doable. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just say the CGI looks bad on purpose. Whoa. So then what happens? Well, so then we find out that the speedster that had knocked Barry out of the speed force earlier in the movie was actually a future version of past Barry who's still trying to save Supergirl and Batman. Oh. Yeah, but now present Barry has realized he he needs to go let his mom die. He can't change things. Very sad. Yep. So then future past Barry's trying to kill the Barry. So past Barry sacrifices himself to kill, to save main Barry and defeat future past Barry. Right. And so yeah, main Barry goes back and lets his mom die. Wow. Well, very powerful lesson he learned. Yeah. 
Well, he interferes a little to get his dad off the hook, so now Batman is George Clooney. Oh, so he did not learn. Yeah, a little bit, maybe not that much. Well, okay then, so what do you think? Good, I mean, this should be a massive hit. You know, unless one of the main cast goes on a violent crime spree or something crazy like that. I why would you say that? It's just a hypothetical. There's no harm in saying hypotheticals. Are you trying to get this movie cursed? Oh, crap, curses. Oh, well, maybe the universe didn't hear me say that. Maybe let's just stop talking now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think we're okay. 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 Oh, that's a curse. That's a curse. Hi everybody, it's your boy Ryan George here. Thank you so much for checking out that video. And hey, how about you leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite curse is that happened to you in your life. When were, how, when did dark magic happen to you?